One, two, three, one, two. Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle video. Today we're gonna to be learning a tune called The Ash Grove. It's just this beautiful sort of waltzy tune and I think you're gonna like it. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, you can find a link in the description for that. All right, let's go ahead and learn the tune. For starters, let's figure out our key signature so we know where our left hand fingers are going to land. We're in the key of G major, lovely key. What's your favorite key, by the way? Let me know in the comments. So let's play a G major scale, starting with that open G. We're gonna go G, first finger, second, third, D, first finger, second, third, and then we're gonna have some notes on the A string as well, so let's play the A, one, low two, which is a C natural, and three. All right, that's our key signature. Let's figure out our time signature. I think of this tune as being in 3-4 time. Some people might think of it in 6-8 time, but if we're thinking in 3-4 time, it's got this 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 feel to it. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. and we've got our time signature, so let's learn the tune. There's nothing standing in our way. I'm gonna be teaching this tune by call and response, so I'll play a short phrase, and then you can try playing it back. I'll play it a few times, so if you don't get it the first time, no worries, you can always just scroll back in the video and then try it again. So many fiddle tunes have an A part and a B part. This tune kind of goes A, A, B, A in a way, but you'll see what I mean. We'll start with kind of the theme of the tune, which is at the very beginning. The first phrase of the tune starts on your open D and it'll go like this. One, two, three, one, two. The next phrase of the tune starts on your open A and it'll go like this. One, two, Three, one, two, three. The third phrase of the tune starts with your third finger on the D string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the last 
last phrase of the theme of the tune, as we're calling it, is going to start on your open D and it's going to go like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And just like that, we have the whole theme of the tune, kind of the A part of the tune. So let's see if we can string all of that together. It's going to start on your open D. One, two, three, one, two. in this tune is we play that again. So let's play it again. One, two, three, one, two. Here's where the next part of the tune comes in. It's sort of the second theme and kind of a little interlude. I don't know what to call the parts of this tune. Here's the first phrase. It starts with your first finger on the A string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, one, two. The next phrase starts with your low second finger on the A string and it'll go like this. One, two, Three, one, two, three. So it's kind of echoing the phrase we just played. The next phrase starts with your first finger on the A string, and again, it's kind of echoing the same idea. Here's how it goes. One, two, three, one, two, three. phrase starts with your second finger on the D string and it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, let's string all those phrases together. So we're not starting at the very beginning, but sort of at this second chunk of the tune. This is the one that starts with your first finger on the A string and we'll go like this. One, two, Three, one, two. And the last thing we're going to do in this tune is we're going back to our original theme, the one that starts on the open D. So let's play that as well. One, two, three, one, two. And there you have it. That is all of Ash Grove. Let's try playing it all the way through. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. playing that with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. But wait, 
there is more. If you'd like to stick around, we can learn a little variation on Ash Grove. Mostly what we're gonna be doing with this tune is adding melodic variations, particularly taking parts of the tune that had quarter notes and kind of dancing around the melody with some shorter eighth notes. In another part of the tune, we'll take a section that had quarter notes and change those into one long note and we're gonna add in some double stops. So the first melodic variation is really through almost the entire first theme of the tune, and this is what it's gonna sound like. One, two, three, one, two. remember. Then we have some eighth notes and melodic changes here. We're going to go one, a, three, one. The next little bit goes a, one, low, two, one, a, three, then two, one, d, one, two, d. Then two, three, one, a, three, two, and then normal tune. Let's do that again. So we play that variation twice, but at the end of the second time, we're leading into the new theme, so we're going to do a little bridge that's going to get us there. Instead of going, we're going to go like this. And that leads into, so after we play, we've got a little stream of eighth notes, three, two, three, A, one, low two, leading to three. In this part, our job's a little easier. Here's how the melodic changes for this part are gonna sound. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's it. We're just holding that third finger. One, two, three, then. Then holding the second finger, low two. One, two, three, one, Back to the normal tune for just a little bit. And here we're going to add some double stops and it'll go like this. So that's two. Then the two on the D string, you keep that there, but you put your third finger down on the A string and play those two notes together. Except hopefully in tune. And then you walk that down. So you're gonna play your first finger on the D and your high second finger, normal placement for your second finger, on the A. And then you play an octave. So just open D with your third finger on the A string. So that effect again is. For the last bit of the tune, we're just gonna play the normal theme of the tune, thank goodness. All right, let's try playing the entire variation. We'll give it a whirl, might as well. Here we go, starting with that open D. One, two, three, one, two. Long notes. 
you'd like to try playing that variation with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, fiddlers, that wraps up today's fiddle video. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this tune. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks, you can find a link to those in the description. It includes the tune, the variation we learned, a harmony part, a chord chart, all kinds of good stuff. Happy fiddling, have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.